Hi everyone, this is Dr. Sherry Tenpenny and I want to do a quick update about a document that got passed by the United Nations this weekend called the Pact of the Future document. It's two parts, one on science and technology and one about the youth and future generations. It is quite egregious and it was done by a procedure called the silence procedure, which makes it a pact and if no one objected, it is automatically adopted and put into the record as being completely adopted. This is the World Health Organization's runaround, since or, or end around. Since they were not able to get the World Health Organization treaty passed, um, they decided to take it to the General Assembly. And it is even more egregious than what the World Health Organization was wanting to get passed. Let me just read you something really quickly about what is inside of this pact that is now being accepted by 193 nations around the world and equally open-armed accepted by our current administration. Everyone, it says that this is the power structure fully digital and maximized for the control of the masses. Everyone will be expected to have a biometric digital ID that marks them not just as citizens of an individual country, but as a global citizen. So anytime you hear global citizen or anytime you hear sustainability, think that this is an egregious thing that's happening at the level of the World Health Organization and the United Nations. Um, anyone that has a dissonant opinion will be labeled as misinformation, disinformation, or malinformation, and memory hold. Perpetrators for unapproved information will be fact-checked and punished by the system, which will be operated and enforced by artificial intelligence. Punishments will include being locked out of one's bank account, being unable to make certain purchases, unable to get on an airplane, on a subway, drive on public roads. This is the future according to, to the world's self-appointed overlords at the United Nations. These are unelected bureaucrats that are making decisions about our country, our sovereignty around the world. Nothing could be more important at this point in time than to get prepared, have water, food, digital access, flashlights, a, a, a way to communicate with family and friends. Now is really the time to get involved and get prepared because this is what's coming. Our Congress is sitting on its hands. There was a press conference on the 17th about this and no further action has been taken. So it's up to us to mobilize and to, to, and to go forward, uh, particularly with your local sheriffs, to get your constitutional sheriffs to say, this isn't going to be allowed in my county. Thank you very much. Take action. We've been talking about the onset of one world order, one world government, one world religion, one world money for a long time. Well, it's no longer coming. It's here.